In this video, we're going to look at PowerShell Universal Event Hubs. Event Hubs allow you to send events from the server down to connected clients. So this allows you to actually run local PowerShell script um, when interacting with the PowerShell Universal server. So this could be things for um, such as getting um, or sending events for like jobs completing or different actions in dashboards, or even receiving data back from clients like information about the local machine or even asking the user for input. So I have two event hubs created here. Um, they're just the only difference between them is one has authentication disabled and one has it enabled. So we can kind of see the differences there. I've also created a dashboard or an app in here that um, has a couple different controls that actually interact with these event hubs. Uh, my first one is a form and it just has a message uh, text box and we're actually gonna call send PSU event to this event hub and we're gonna send down whatever the user types in is that message. So then we'll pop up a little toast after that's done. So from the um, client side, you could be running this locally or remotely. Uh, in my case, I'm just running this locally on the same uh, uh, server as my PowerShell Universal server. But what I'm gonna use is connect PSU event hub. And this is a commandlet that's available inside the PowerShell Universal module. So I'm specifying the computer name, I'm specifying the hub that I wanna to connect to, and then I'm specifying a script block that I want it to be executed when this event hub is triggered. So I'm actually gonna use a burnt toast notification um, from the server. So once I do that, uh, we're connected. And what we can do is actually go over to our dashboard here. And this is this form up here with the message and the submit button is the one that I was showing where we have send PSU event in on submit. So now if I were to type in a message like hello, and I hit submit, you'll see that a burnt toast notification actually popped up in the bottom right corner here. And that actually is running locally on my machine inside this PowerShell process. So as you can imagine, this could be running on a remote server, or you could have a bunch of clients connected to this hub and then broadcast that out to all the clients. So while that's pretty handy to be able to kind of broadcast notifications across clients, you can also send data to a specifically connected client. So I have another example here where I'm gonna be using the um, authenticated or secure hub in this case, and I'm gonna specify an app token to connect to that hub. If I don't specify that app token, I'm not gonna be able to connect because I need a valid token to do so. Um, and in this example, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna pop up an input box and uh, have the user uh, enter something. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna show what that user entered and display it in the dashboard itself. So the kind of the way this works for sending an event to a specific client is uh, you need to know the client ID. And we can use get PSU event hub connection to find all the different connections and find that connection ID to pass to send PSU event. So that'll actually send it to a specific connected uh, client. So I'm actually going to run this inside here so that I can connect to my event hub. So now you can see I connected my event hub. And if I actually go to um, the secure hub or the event hubs page, I can click connections. And what you'll see here is um, we have a couple of different connections that are currently active. So it actually has a historical list of all the connections. You can see the ones without usernames are the connections where I was connected to event hub. Um, and it kind of, you know, it provides what node you were connected to and that kind of thing. And then when you connected and when you disconnected. Uh, the other connection you'll notice is this admin connection here, and it knows my username because I passed in that app token. And I'm connected to the secure hub, and you can see that there's no disconnected date, so it's it's currently connected. So what I want to do then um, inside my app here is call get PSU, uh, PSU event hub connection, and that's going to return those connections we just saw. And I'm just going to get the last admin connection. So you can use other criteria, like, you know, if it has a disconnected date and that kind of thing. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to get the last uh, admin connection. And then I'm going to pass that uh, to send PSU event uh, with the connection ID. Let's take a look at how that works. So now if I click ask, you'll see that this message box or input box has popped up locally. And that's actually coming from this PowerShell process here that I used to connect PSU event hub. Again, this could be you know, a remote server somewhere. It doesn't have to be local to this machine. And I can actually interact with this. So now I could say hello from my computer. And if I click OK, you'll see that this notification up here actually received that data back from the event hub and it ran that in the dashboard.
So as you can imagine, you could either have this interactive kind of like I'm doing here, or you could do something like collect data about the server, like the PowerShell version, computer name, and that kind of thing. So in this video, we looked at how to uh, work with event hubs in PowerShell Universal. Um, and you can use event hubs throughout uh, the PowerShell Universal platform to send events um, in scripts, dashboards, and APIs.